Hello, it's Luca from PlanShift. Today is the 11th of July, 2011, and I would like to give you a bit of an overview of our servers and our applications. We have quite some servers to uh, have PlanShift running, and uh, also we have built some custom applications to uh, manage the data uh, into it. So, a uh, bit about the servers. We have two main game servers <coughs> that are here in the uh, top left. And one is based in Italy, uh, actually uh, is uh, called ZeroPing, and is our role-play server. We have another machine, which is our uh, second game server, which is dedicated to non-role-play, which is Easy PC, and is uh, in uh, uh, USA. Then we have one server dedicated to our uh, web, and uh, mainly the main PlanShift page uh, is actually hosted on a pretty uh, large uh, ESP and uh, is located in Italy. And then we have a number of uh, distribution mirrors that are holding all the files that you download, mainly the uh, distributions and few other downloads that we have in our uh, web page. Then uh, we have another server dedicated to do updates. So it's the server that holds all the data, all the files to allow you to update your clients. And it's also the one that sometimes is not working properly. Uh, the, we have the forums and the bug tracker on a separate machine. And this machine is actually in, uh, in the USA. Yeah, and the updater is in Germany for now. And then we have another machine dedicated to our internal documentation, which has been donated by a very uh, nice guy long, long time ago and still still running, still the same machine. I mean, it's like uh, many years now. And then we have a test server, okay? And the test server is basically used to test everything before we release to the two main game servers. So about the software we use, well, we actually use really a lot of software, different software, open source and not open source. But uh, I just wanted to summarize here, the, uh, say the most important points. So obviously, first of all, we use the PlanSheet server and PlanSheet client. So the PlanSheet server is installed on the three servers that you have seen, the two game servers and the test server. And then the clients, that is the one that you download and we use also for uh, testing purposes. Then we use Crystal Space as our uh, 3D rendering engine. I have to say that uh, Crystal Space and PlanShift are very, very tightly connected. Uh, well, first thing we can mention is that Jorrit, which is one of the um, uh, main developers, is actually the founder of Crystal Space, is part of our organization. And uh, also many of the developers of Crystal Space uh, have been PlanShift developers. And so, and we try our best to make Crystal Space the best engine. And I hope that the, uh, let's say, this is really improving PlanShift as well. So it's a tight collaboration and it's going quite well. The Cold 3D uh, animation library is a library that actually uh, is not getting developed anymore by the original uh, developer, but is basically maintained now by uh, Invu, which is a big uh, online game, if you know. Well, it's more, it's more of a 3D chat, but anyway, they are using the same animation library and we use it as well. And uh, uh, this is another big piece, and this is open source, obviously. Crystal Space is open source as well. Uh, then we use MySQL <coughs> for uh, our database, and there is another video you can go and check where I explain a bit about our, our database and all the related tools, like all the viewers and uh, the uh, tools that allow you to inspect the um, entity relationship diag diagrams. Then we use uh, Linux for uh, uh, a lot of our game servers and test servers and uh, our websites. So mainly Fedora and Debian distributions. Say we don't have a specific distribution on which PlanShift works better. I mean, we just uh, prefer those two, but and we have those two installed actually. And usually we get, say, the distribution uh, donated with, uh, with the hardware. So um, we usually get what, uh, what is on the hardware. But uh, uh, PlanShift can work uh, on... Uh, various Linux distribution plus Windows. Uh, we use Subversion. I am very grateful to the people that created Subversion. It's a wonderful piece of software, works perfectly. It's used, let's say, worldwide by uh, thousands and thousands of users and companies. And uh, we, use it, we use it for our code, so for our source code, and also for our art. Then we use BitTorrent, which is another great tool that can be used for... Um, uh, for a m multiple purposes, mainly for downloading 
large files but also for uh, updating uh, files and so on so we, we use it by the way we use also uh, xdelta3 for uh, our updated server which is not listed here we use php uh, with a number of extension mainly the mysql extension to run to run most of our internal applications and then we use plenty of wikis the reason of why we are using so many different wikis is basically because uh, i mean historical reason let's say so we, we would like to merge all into one and at the moment we are still using kind of three different wikis so one is doc wiki uh, tiki wiki and mid and media wiki and i think that yeah the one that work better for us are really the doc wiki which is a simpler it doesn't require a db and uh, media wiki which by the way is the same used by wikipedia is uh, it's a pretty popular um, uh, wiki and tiki wiki let's say is a bit of a uh, uh, yeah a bit of historical stuff that we have on our server and most likely sooner or later we'll get rid of it and we'll replace it with the media wiki but anyway all these three weeks very very good um, and can be used uh, for uh, hosting files and uh, collaborative editing of documentation and they are providing a very good service to us then we use a number of 3D applications um, and basically the 3D apps that we use are based on the contributors that we get. So depending on, on which developer we find that want to work on uh, PlaneShift, uh, we ask him which is the tool that he uses and as a, as a preferred tool we really want to use Blender and 3ds Max. Um, the reason being that those two are covering the say the open source and the commercial world so it's, it's easier with those two tools to really cover uh, a large uh, broad uh, skill set of uh, potential new contributors and then sometimes we use uh, Maya as well um, with Maya we have some issues on the uh, exporting the most complex geometry like rigging and animations but uh, for simple objects it can be used as well and plus we have built a number of custom exporters uh, some are built by the crystal space community others are built by us uh, we have mainly uh, worked on the uh, 3d studio max exporters to ensure that uh, we could get also some uh, say additional uh, professional artists so another thing that we use a lot is uh, ssh and uh, putty and mainly for working with our server so there is a lot more s software that we use i cannot mention it all here but i think it gives you a pretty good overview in terms of data storage the PlanSheet server and the client installation, let's say, with all the dependencies, is about four gigabytes. So it's not huge, but anyway, it's not it's not small. And obviously, you need that only if you want to install, let's say, the full server with the full data, full artwork, and so on. So that's basically uh, an estimate based on what we have on our servers today. The database itself, so on top of those four gigabytes, is about uh, one to two gigabyte today. So it's not it's not too big. I mean, I think it's very reasonable for a production server. And uh, I just did a quick uh, count on one of the tables uh, uh, to see uh, which one was the biggest. And the, the biggest that I found at uh, about two million records. Okay, so and uh, it is the skills table of the players. Um, all the web apps, uh, say, is about 1.5 gigabytes. And so when we have to backup our servers, if you take the numbers above plus some additional uh, uh, directories that we use for development, is around 10 gigabytes. So every time we do a backup, is about uh, uh, 10 gig. In terms of uh, other data storage, like all the material that we use to develop the game, like models, textures, documentation, and so on, all in native format. And I mentioned native format here because the majority of the textures um, that are taking space are the ones in the original uh, uh, Photoshop or the anyway the original high-res format so it's around 30 gigabytes today okay it's, it's going up very quickly but it's uh, roughly 30 gigabytes just to give you an idea so in terms of, of uh, web application and sites we have uh, some public websites and some internal websites so in terms of the public ones we have the main planship website so it's planship.it we have an atomic blue website i don't know if you've ever seen it but anyway it's available atomic blue is the non-profit corporation that we created for plan shift okay so it's a non-profit corporation that is uh, living just for uh, uh, holding let's say all the copyright and all the assets of plan shift uh, and maybe in the future we will make uh, we'll make other games but uh, at the moment let's say plan shift is more than enough for us <laughs> considering we are doing this in the free time right so uh, then we have a forum um, application um, which is based on simple machines and we have uh, 
uh, MyPlane, which is another website. So you see that in terms of public website, uh, you have already these four plus two others. So plus the uh, wiki, the public wiki, uh, and the bug tracker. And I will give you more details on those. So we are maintaining kind of six websites just, just for you, I mean, just for the public. And uh, uh, if you look at the internal website, well, we have uh, uh, three websites dedicated to Game Master. So one is called the GM console. Now we show you a bit of that is a console uh, dedicated to say viewing accounts and viewing, let's say all the information in game. We have uh, Jayo's library, which is uh, uh, a wiki, one of the many wikis that we have, uh, dedicated to uh, the prospects and dedicated to uh, development. Um, and then we have another one, which is the Nexus for the prospect, which is basically the application that you use when you want to register a new account as a developer, as a, as a future contributor of PlanShift, okay? <clears throat> then we have the internal applications. And for the internal applications, we have uh, uh, the web console, which we have uh, built um, for viewing the game data and for, let's say, quickly manipulating and editing any kind of information inside a game. We have one installed on uh, uh, the roleplay server on Zero Ping and one installed on EasyPC. Um, then we have uh, two other applications. We have an internal wiki. Uh, which is containing, let's say, for example, our release plans for 06 and uh, is containing, let's say, workflows, master plans and uh, all the links to, other, to all the other web apps. Uh, and then we have another uh, um, part of JIOS library, which is actually internal, which is dedicated to our uh, internal documentation. So uh, as you can see, it's a lot of website, a lot of applications. Uh, if the question is, can we consolidate some of them? Yeah, probably yes. I mean, is the effort, let's say, really worth um, the, the value they will bring? I don't know. So, I mean, that is why we didn't do it up to now.